Hey guys, get level here. And today I want to take a YouTube video and transform it into a Twitch alert. We don't have time for an intro. Let's jump right into it. So there's this vine that I really love called I like to get in sparkly dresses zombie version. And it's this one, but I'm going to get this one because it's a little longer. Okay, I know it's dumb, but it gets me every single time. So we're going to do this. I'm going to copy the link here and I'm going to open a new tab where I'm going to type download YouTube. Now, you may want to check with your local copyright laws. Always ask for permission every time you're about to use someone else's content. Make sure that you don't use. Well, try to avoid using uh, copyrighted material because you are um, you can get a DMCA takedown and that's that automatically bans you for at least 24 hours on twitch and gets you one strike this video is only for educational purposes i will not be responsible if one of your uh, twitch vods or if your twitch channel gets deleted or or if you get a dmca takedown because you decided to take uh to upload a full movie as an alert <laughs> so i find any website honestly that allows you to download youtube this one press enter Okay, so usually those uh, YouTube download things will give you an MP4 file for the video file. But here we already have a WebM. Basically, what I was going to do is download an MP4 and then convert it to WebM. If you want to convert it to WebM, well, let me Google that for you. Um, MP4 to WebM. It's that simple. If, if you wanted to convert any file that you download as an mp4 but here we have the option to actually already get it as a webm so we're gonna do that if that's possible but let's just click here hopefully we'll get everything right <laughs> jesus christ okay let's click download and now we have our Video playback, it's called. So now I'm gonna open up Streamlabs because this is what I use for my alerts. Um, I don't use Stream Elements. I don't use anything else. So if you have questions about uh, how to do it on other platforms, this is, I guess this is the wrong video, but it should be fairly similar. I just don't know about file formats. I know that Streamlabs accepts WebM. So we're gonna use that. So I'm gonna go to alert box. I want this to be used as a follow alert. So I'm gonna click the alert box. I'm gonna click the follow. Uh, tab here and now I have all of my follow alerts. I have variations So it's not gonna be my main follow alert. It's gonna be a variation So I'm gonna click at the bottom open alert variations And look those are all of my alerts and a bunch of them are disabled. Okay, so I'm gonna take One that I already have and I'm gonna duplicate it All right, and I'm gonna call this one Sparkly dresses actually going longer than i expected condition randomly frequencies randomly this is not like I, I need to tell you that uh frequency is how often do you want it to to show compared to the others i always keep randomly and frequently here you can choose the layout if you want the text that says this person just followed to be on top of the image at the bottom or whatever i'm gonna i'm i kind of want this on top of it oh there it is it's already on top of it okay that's perfect Animation doesn't really matter, but I like fade in, fade out. It's easy on the eyes. And it's gonna be like this name. That's gonna be the name of the person who followed. And I'm gonna put likes sparkly dresses. So basically if, I don't know, uh, if Ninja followed, it's gonna be Ninja likes sparkly dresses. <laughs> Please don't cut this out of context. <laughs> okay. Uh, animation I actually don't want none and here is the part where we can change the media there we go so I'm just gonna drag and drop here hopefully that will upload it oh it's not letting me uh hello can I just okay my uploads all files there we go okay I'm gonna wait a couple seconds it's going to upload the file boom there we go it's right there so I'm gonna click on it click select I got it now the the alert is about six seconds so we're gonna slowly try to get six seconds here alert text delay that's pretty good i'm gonna give it two seconds all right seems good to me seems good to me chat so far okay let me click save 
Uh, I don't want to open up my um, alert source here, so I'm just gonna go and launch this box in order to test it. So I'm gonna go all the way down, click save settings. I'm gonna click test on the alert. We can see it, it appeared here. So I'm gonna click test and then I'm gonna switch to this. It's gonna show up here. Okay, maybe six seconds was a little too much, uh, but so far it works. It, it's working. It's working pretty well, if you ask me. me. Go with five seconds. It automatically repeats if you put an alert duration that's too long. Let's test that again. It's it's not perfect, but I'm actually gonna leave it like that. I don't I don't have a problem with it like that. So um, I guess we're done pretty much. Okay, let's go back to the full screen. Well, hopefully that was a good video for you. I'm sorry I'm in a rush here because uh, I woke up kind of late. I really want to have this video up uh, before I stream tonight. Maybe I will stream tonight. Probably won't. Um, because like because this video is going to be uploading so i'm not going to have time to stream because i can't stream and upload at the same time because my internet is bad anyways i'm going to put some social media up there thank you so so much for watching if you're looking for some dope overlays we recently posted a new free overlay pack uh called box orange you can find it at gumroad.com slash gal level follow me on social media i'm not going to do the instagram shout out today but the next video i will definitely do it so go follow me on instagram that's at gal.level and uh, i will see you guys next time thank you so so much for watching gal level out.